Hi, I am Dr. Sharjil and today I would like to show you two cases of chemical injuries. You can see here the dead necrotic epithelium above the cornea. So in this case conjunctiva as well as cornea is involved. Whereas in other case only conjunctiva was involved. So chemical injury, acid as well as alkali of the conjunctiva and cornea is a true ocular emergency that requires immediate intervention. Chemical injury can cause visual impairment, glaucoma, dry eye and disfigurement. So these are the complications that can occur. Early recognition and immediate treatment gives best results. So we will divide the chemical injuries into two acids and alkali most common acidic injuries are due to car and home batteries blast like in this case that contains sulfuric acid vinegar containing acetic acid and hydrochloric acid in swimming pools acids are generally less harmful to the eye because they coagulate proteins which act as a barrier to prevent further penetration except hydrofluoric acid that can penetrate the cornea just like alkali. Alkalis are lime, calcium hydroxide which is present in cement. So a lot of cement workers they come with the, these injuries. Plaster, whitewash, lye, Sodium hydroxide is present in drain cleaners and airbags, then ammonia, NH3, in fertilizers, refrigerants, and potassium hydroxide, caustic potash, and then baking soda. So you should know that uh, alkali agents, they are lipophilic and they are more dangerous because they penetrate the layers of the cornea and conjunctiva very rapidly. They saponify the fatty acids of the cell membranes, they penetrate the corneal stroma, they destroy the collagen bundles in corneal stroma and enter anterior chamber and they can cause iris angle as well as lenticular damage. So whenever you encounter the above mentioned substances like lye, lime, bleach, drain cleaner, batteries, you should always wear protective goggles so they will prevent you from the chemical injuries. Now how to diagnose the chemical injury? Diagnosis is history based. History will lead you towards the chemical responsible for the injury. You should always do pH before to confirm whether uh, the substance is acidic or basic and after saline wash as well that whether it is neutralized the agent the offending agent is neutralized or not now here uh, we are showing you the other patient with a chemical injury and here you can see that the cornea is clear and the conjunctiva is red and edematous so the symptoms of the chemical injuries to the eye are pain, red eye, watering, photophobia, blepharospasm and decreased vision. And signs, you can have the dead necrotic epithelium just like shown here, conjunctival chemosis, conjunctival hyperemia. You can also have limbal ischemia. Limbal ischemia looks very quiet the eye will be white the, but it is more dreadful and if the patient with a chemical injury presents with a red congested hyperemic eye it means that the prognosis is good so the treatment is that uh, you have to put uh, topical anesthetic drops uh, apply the lid speculum and wash the cornea and conjunctiva furnaces with normal saline you can also use a basic salt solution uh, one study showed that basic salt solution was well tolerated by the patients uh, 
compared to the normal cell line. You should always double evert the lids to remove any particulate material. And uh, if uh, the patient is uh, far away from the hospital uh, or medical services uh, and there is a clean tap water available at the site of uh, accident, uh, so you should use that tap water and you should not delay the treatment. You should also remove the coagulated membrane from the cornea and furnaces with corneal forceps like here is shown because debridement of the necrotic epithelium is necessary because it serves as a source of inflammation and infection. So the other treatments options are you should give antibiotics topical antibiotics the mainstay of the treatment is saline wash you should wash as much as possible the other things are topical antibiotics cycloplegics steroid drops vitamin c artificial tears doxycycline which is which has got anti collagenase effect ointment at night and bandage contact lens till the new epithelium grows the surgical options are debridement of the necrotic epithelium, then amniotic membrane graft and stem cell graft can also be done. So that's all you should know about the chemical injuries to the eye. Thank you very much.